Guys, the game didn't even crash when I tried to load it up. This is going to be a good day, I can tell. Oh boy. Also, I really like the aesthetic. Oh, okay, the game just crashed. I didn't. I was about to say, I really like the aesthetic of reflection. So, okay, for this. Okay, hold up. Okay, I was, I was wondering if you could do that or not. That's going to be a no. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Maddie doesn't have that. Alright, this is gonna be a long first section. This is gonna be a really long first section. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Hold down the R trigger. And then... This is cool. I actually really like that. I don't know why, seeing as... Um, I died like five times within the first little section of booting up the level. I, I, I don't particularly like the golden feathers actually, but you know, I do like the big the big funny noise thwomp type. I guess they're not characters, but you know. Uh, this is like, you know those, you know those, oh, come on. You know those like, um, god, arcade games, they have like Chuck E. Cheese's? Where it's it's a it's a rod with a metal ring on it, right? And um, you have to maneuver it around um, this charged piece of metal. Or and if you if you um, if you if you uh, if you hit the piece, right, it'll buzz at you and call you a, a loser and like racial epithets and stuff. At least that's what happened at my Chuck E. Cheese. But um, this is what it reminds me of. All right, here's what we're gonna do. God, this is wacky. A lot of a lot of the things in this level are oddly subjective. Like these things, they they kind of um, shoot you off at an odd angle, and I don't know how I feel about it. Hmm. I guess it's not bad, but it's definitely not helpful, and. You know what, let's, let's look at this, just so that I can take a bit of a break. Oh, God. This kind of sucks. Anyways. Uh, another thing that's really cool and fun, I still haven't been able to make my Fez episode that should have gone up, um, like, a week ago. So I am now actually kind of trapped in terms of what I can do for Fez because I don't want to exit the room that I'm in because that would oh, okay this this gap sucks Jesus I don't want to exit the room I'm in because I know that it would cause me to okay um for one I would definitely forget that I'm there what's up here nothing okay cool All right, that's extremely poggers, as we say in the biz. When something goes completely our way, that is... Okay, how do I want to do that? I guess, um, what, I just, like, don't even hold on for that long? I... God, I can't even get off the darn thing. Oh, you know, that would have been an interesting skip, maybe. I don't know if it would have actually skipped anything, but it would have been interesting at the very least. You know what I mm, wish... I wish I had some, like, good, um, truly legal way to watch Duck, Di Duck, uh, Duck Dodgers in the 24th and 1 half century, right? Because I, I don't... Um, it's, a good, it's a good show, right? And I would feel bad pirating it just a little bit. Just a little bit bad. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. God, this game sucks. This is what I meant about it being subjective, and I'm not sure how to take it. Because they I think this really does shoot you off in a full, like 
it definitely isn't just the like eight cardinal directions. So it's oh my gosh. Oh, is that what I think it is? Cause okay, but yeah, these things definitely don't um, have any. I guess they might have some kind of specific angle, but that would be a lot of programming work. That would be impressive if they actually did that, but I have my doubts based on how it's spitting me off currently. Okay, let's go back to doing this. Maybe. Okay, it's still not as bad as Celestial Resort. Nothing is as bad as Celestial Resort. Okay, it might be getting close though. Honestly, Covered in Spikes, Celestial Resort Covered in Spikes. I'm seeing a couple parallels, and I don't know if I will be able to unsee them by the time this episode is done. Dashing into Spikes. All right, let's count the parallels between Celestial Resort B-Side and, Cele and uh, not Celestial Resort B-Side. Reflection B-Side and Celestial Resort in general. Another inter fun thing is that since I've already... Mm, I'm used to having two dashes. I don't know if I'm going to get to a point where I'm not used to having two dashes. But I can't. I don't have two dashes right now. It's it's also like... I feel, Yeah, the speed is definitely not consistent either. How do you get consistent with this? Because, again, everything is... Oh my gosh. What the hell? I... I don't know if I like this. Like, this is probably my least favorite. What the f... Mm. Again, with the speed being kind of inconsistent, do you... Does it give you better speed if you dash into it? I wouldn't be able to dash into it. Because I'm, I'm freaking blue hair. This sucks. This is actually bad. I really doubt it's it's a eight cardinal directions thing. I have my I have my uh, reservations about the idea that it actually is a full 360 degrees or two pi radians, if you're into that. And um, that's kind of a, an ass way to code this specifically for what you're having it do. Because these weren't even all that prevalent in the main episode, either. Like, the you had them? They were there. But they were there as, like, an after... What even happened there? They were... But, yeah, they were there as, like, an afterthought. I'm getting really inconsistent speed here. With what happens when I bounce off one of these. And that is, uh, not cool. And I'm also getting inconsistent angles still. I'm just going to keep complaining about the same exact things in slightly different verbiage. Uh, let's see. Um, no, the, the only way I can describe this is inconsistent. I've been doing this for how long now? Like three minutes? And it, I, I die consistently on like the first part, too. I can't be the only one that has like problems with this, right? Like game design-wise. What the f- mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, no, hug the spikes. Okay. Am I just, like, going about this the worst speedrunner type way? Where I'm trying to, like, cut corners and I could be doing it a simpler way? Mm -hmm. That is... Ah. really inconsistent how much di distance you get. Like, I'm... There we go. All I had to do was shut my damn mouth. Huh. Oh god. <sighs> that sucks a lot.
Uh, hate the angles here. I really do. I really fucking hate the angles here. Not that they're too much of a problem. Okay, I see what I should have done there. Aha! Uh -huh. I know, let's take the thing that's already inconsistent and make it a moving platform. Fun, 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 fun game design. Fun and I guess challenging is the point. But, you know, I really think that maybe the idea was a bit uh, better. It could have been better executed just a little bit, specifically right here. Mm-hmm. Where exactly is this thing's hitbox? I don't actually know. Uh, ha, ha, ha. It's like in my mind I expect it to move. And then it's it lingers over on this side longer than this side. It seems like. Oh, freaking horse. Yeah, I, I can't really give uh, any... any um, uh, I I can't give any love to the Celeste team for this one. Sorry. This is uh, not really very good. Because when you're having a game like this, um, like, it's fine, sort of. Unforgiving platforming is kind of the name of the game in Celeste. Well, the name of the game is actually Celeste. Like, I mean, Anyways, that was a very funny joke that I just made. But, um... This is, like, the worst kind of unforgiving platforming. Where it's... For one... It's a circular enemy. So that means that I can only go so many directions. And by so many directions, I mean literally so many. I can go 360 different directions with it. In a game like this with pixel graphics so yeah um, that's fun and also because of how the graphics are it's um, really wacky trying to figure out where exactly anything is I think I'm gonna end it there I'm probably getting upset about this and it's not worth really can turning into a screecher about. So, um, we'll finish this off maybe on the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will toss you into a room full of the circular enemies, and uh, we'll see how long you last. They're really not that bad, but Jesus. Anyways, goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.